hope you guys slept better than I did last night. I had a nightmare and I don't know why. I used to watch many, many, many years ago, I used to watch um, Law and & Order and whenever I would watch it and then go to sleep, I would always have nightmares, always. So anyway, that's not my show anymore and I don't watch anything scary or, or violent or any drama TV before I go to bed. I just don't do it. But anyway, last night I didn't do that. I think I was just searching the internet. I believe that's what I did last night. Um, so I don't know why I had a, a nightmare, but my mom used to say to never share your nightmares because it'll come true. <laughs> I don't believe that. Um, and anyway, the nightmare that I had, I mean, there it's not even in the realm of possibility of ever coming true. So no point in talking about it. <laughs> anyway, I am sitting outside of the building where I went to look at that first suite that I told you guys about and then I showed you. Well, I am I want to look at another one, a suite actually that's right next door to it. It's a little bit bigger. And um, I'm not going to shed too much. Actually, I'm not going to shed anything about um, or share anything <laughs> about what I plan on doing. But um, I'm pretty excited about it. So I'll share more once I know for sure that I'm actually going to move forward with it. But in the meantime, um, let's just go take a look at it, okay? All right. Okay, you guys, here's another suite that I'm looking at, which is bigger than the first one, the l shape one. This one is actually square. And I think I like this one better. So we'll see. This was the other one, the l shape one that I showed you guys um, last time. And then right next door is this one. I'll have to have the carpet pulled up, but um, I think it's perfect. Okay, you guys, what do you think about the space? I really like it. I'm really excited about it, so <laughs> we'll see. All right, you guys, so if we're gonna be friends, one thing you've got to know about me is I am a dreamer. I am a dreamer. I don't even know what my life would even be like if I didn't have any dreams. And, um, you know, as a businesswoman, I'm dreaming about a lot of things and I have to take calculated risks, you know, in order to move forward and to try things. I can't be afraid and I have to just think about it, pray about it, write about it, <laughs> come up with a plan and just see what happens. I mean, sometimes it doesn't always work out. It does not <laughs> always work out. But that's okay, you know, as long as I learn something from it. And, um, you know, it's just, I feel like I can't really appreciate success unless I failed. I don't know how you can, how you can do it. You know, how can you really know what success feels like unless you've failed? So that's what I think about. That's what I, that's what I think about when things don't work out. And I also know that I'm not defined by my failures. At least I tried. And I would rather fail than not try at all because then I would be living a life full of regrets. And I just don't wanna have any regrets. And um, so that's just, <laughs> that's me. I'm a dreamer <laughs> with no regrets. I take calculated risks. I've lost money, wasted time, missed opportunities but <laughs> that's what happened. So let me know in the comments below if you can relate to that, if that even makes sense to you at all. Um, anyway, I do have a couple clients that I'm going to um, see today. And um, yeah, so I will see you once the client arrives. Does she wanna come in? Yeah. <laughs> 
I, that was the only time I've worn, worn it. I've never worn it. Yeah, I've never worn it. So he's never seen it. <laughs> you guys have. That's a great top. Thank you. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad the day is done. Well, actually, my working day is done. It's only seven o'clock. It's dark outside. It feels like it's nine o'clock and I still have a lot of things to do. I need to eat. I need to pack. Oh, I don't think I told you. I'm going to fly to Seattle tomorrow night. It's just going to be a long weekend. My niece is in a musical and I want to surprise her. So I'm going to fly out tomorrow night and uh, stay with my brother and his family. So it's super last minute. This is not like me at all whenever I travel I'm like packed um, days in advance and I make my reservation months in advance and for this particular trip I did not do that because I'm not traveling the way I want to to Seattle I really wanted to take like a, a sleeper train to get there and then fly back but the weather is just so nasty <laughs> it's cold it's cloudy and I just don't want to have that kind of experience on a train going to Seattle looking at that I really want to <laughs> see some sunshine I want it to be warm so apparently this is not the best time of year to be doing that so I think I was just kind of bummed about that and I just honestly booked my flight <laughs> at the very last minute. So I am going, I am flying United and so far just the whole booking process has not been wonderful. <laughs> so um, I just can't wait till I get there. So anyway, I have to pack <laughs> and I don't normally do that, packing the day before. So I will do that. I'm gonna pack, I'm gonna eat something, I'm going to go to sleep and I will see you guys in the next video. So have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Good night.